In a world where hard drives are dirt cheap and SSDs are much more expensive per gig, it's difficult to find a middle ground. Of course, we all want fast storage. Boot times and even game load times are dramatically reduced when making the transition from hard disks to flash storage. But even just a 240 gig SSD costs nearly 100 US dollars. So here's a solution. Pairing a one terabyte hard disk drive or thereabouts, plenty of storage for games and movies, with Intel Optane memory. In a nutshell, Intel Optane memory is not RAM and not an SSD. Instead, this proprietary technology is designed on the consumer level to eliminate the latency hard drives induce when loading up an operating system or a video game, let's say. In a partnership with Intel, we've been provided a beautiful Alienware Aurora R7, packed with a Coffee Lake Core i7 CPU, GTX 1070, and of course, Intel Optane memory in combination with a two terabyte hard disk drive. If you're gonna buy pre-built, this is the way to go. It isn't inundated with ridiculous branding of any kind, save the super cool Alienware power button, and doesn't cost much more pre-built than it would if you decided to build it yourself. With Optane activated within our BIOS and in the system, we're looking at a 10 second boot time. This is literally SSD performance. Without Optane activated, nearly one minute to boot up the exact same PC. To open up Steam right after signing in, our Optane powered system took 18 seconds. That's compared to 53 without Optane activated. Again, not exaggerating these numbers. I ran these tests multiple times, literally identical times throughout these runs, so it's very consistent. We only had to wait about 12 seconds to get Universe Sandbox 2 to open with Optane, double that time without Optane. And if you're a content creator, Adobe Premiere took 10 seconds to open with Optane, 15 seconds without. Not too big a difference here, but it is still worth noting. But let's test an extremely large game, a game much larger than the size of our Optane drive storage, Grand Theft Auto V. This is a 65 gigabyte file, by the way. Without Optane enabled, it took 48 seconds to reach the main menu and another 51 seconds just to enter story mode. With Optane enabled, reaching the main menu took about 45 seconds, so almost the same. But here's the kicker, story mode loaded in 28 seconds. That's nearly twice as fast as the same system without Optane enabled. Gamers on a budget pay special attention. This is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can think of Intel Optane memory as the middleman between the CPU and hard drive. It's sort of like an SSD cache, except Intel is using their own chipset to facilitate optimal data file transfers, which is why extremely large games like GTA 5 still manage to load much faster with Optane than on a standard hard drive. It's pretty cool stuff. So there are some clear and undeniable advantages when combining Optane memory with a hard drive. An SSD, and eh, not so much. They're already pretty fast, but that's not the point here. If you're only sporting a hard drive with compliant Intel chipsets, I guarantee you'll see clear and improved response since Optane is essentially fused to your hard drive, you'll see faster load and render times throughout your PC experience. Whereas with an SSD, only those files saved directly to that drive will be quick and snappy. And that's the key. Unless you plan on storing extremely large games and other files like GTA 5 on your SSD, which alone occupies half the space of a 120 gig model, they load much slower on say a one terabyte hard drive. Include Intel Optane memory, however, and you've got yourself a turbocharged storage system for not much more than the price of a regular disk drive itself. So whether you build a PC yourself or buy pre-built, especially on a budget, I strongly recommend Intel Optane memory. Big thanks by the way to Dell and Intel for sending over this sexy Alienware Aurora R7. You can find this exact model linked in the video description along with more info on and where you can buy Intel Optane memory. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Click that red subscribe button down below by the way so you can get notified when more videos like these go live. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.